You can't attack the cars. You can't question the cars. And this is not about red or blue, brother. It's about being a Belizean. Because whether you red or blue, whether you blue or red, whether you're the Catholic, whether you're the Mestizo, whether you're the Anglican, whether you're the Garfuna, whether you're the Fan Crozal, Fan Orange Walk, Fan Belize, Fan Cayo, Fan Stan Creek, you need land. And if you're not Belizean, you're supposed to have access to that land. Because it's a gift to we from God. It's not a gift to the people never have money. It's not a gift to all the people never have fire. We belong here. We stay here. We raise their pick here. We invest here. So as a, as, a, uh, as a politician of influence, do you uh, support the part or the part of the MO of the movement that says land at any cost, land by any means, uh, even if it involves squatting? Well, squatting happened a long, long time. Because squatting, people always repeat this statement from the late, great Dr. Martin Luther King, that rioting, the advice that they unheard, squatting, the advice of poor people, but are the landless. Because people don't go squat because they want. They go squat because they don't have a choice. I just don't explain to you that if you only make three dollars and thirty cents an hour, you can't pay rent, you can't feed your picnic, you can't clothe your picnic, you can't send in a school, you can't pay light bill, pay water bill. Out of that, got a one fifty a week. I believe sitting at seventy five dollars for one room for one week. Sometimes you have to share bathroom. You can't live with 150. So everybody to try to figure out how do I get away from the rent? How do I try to establish one lease on things so I could have more money to feed my kids? I could have more money to take care of them. So people don't squat because they just lawless. They squat because they really don't have no choice. And they backstay against the wall and they desperate. And that's why government's come in.